huge step for the family of a disabled girl in desperate need of help. We reported on the struggles of little Sayla Clanton, who nearly drowned in a New York canal last year. Since then, she's required 24-hour-a-day in-home nursing care. But now her parents say the insurance company is denying her that coverage and wants them to put their child into a nursing home. Our Serena Fazan joins us with some good news the family received just hours ago. Serena? That's right, Brendan. You know, desperate, the family reached out to a local lawmaker. And after a flurry of letters, a call today from the Speaker of the House that may help them give their daughter the help they say she needs to stay alive. John and Yvonne Clanton invited only Action News to witness this huge therapeutic step for their nine-year-old daughter, Sayla. We're hopeful that this will make a difference for her. Hope after a stranger donated thousands of dollars towards hyperbaric chamber treatments, a procedure not typically covered by insurance. But mixed with hope is a family's despair. We need help. The Clantons say care that should be covered, a 24-hour nurse for Sayla, is now being denied through their carrier, Blue Cross Blue Shield. John, a state employee for more than 15 years, tells me he's never missed a premium. To need it when you're supposed to be provided, it's a real awkward uh, situation. We called Blue Cross Blue Shield. A spokesperson citing privacy said he could not comment on the Clanton's case, but said it is the state's decision, not the company's. Former House Representative and current Pasco County tax collector Mike Fasano agrees. He stepped in to help with the family's battle. Uh, truly, uh, all it will take, in my opinion, is uh, the Speaker of the House, uh, Will Weatherford, who's a, who's a good man, to step in, contact the Blues or Blue Cross Blue Shield, and get the ball rolling so this young girl uh, can continue to have the services at home. And it appears that's happened. While we were with the Clantons, they told us Weatherford's office called, asking them to file another review with the insurance company. The Clantons have already been denied twice, but hope this third time will be in their favor. They have five children, three disabled, including Sayla, who was diagnosed with severe autism before the accident. Now, she's in what doctors describe a persistent vegetative state. To then have to shoulder that without nursing care would be overwhelming, and I believe it would be detrimental to her health. And we just got off the phone with the Speaker's office. A spokesperson says the case is being reviewed right now. The Clans say they will not put Sayla in a nursing home, and if they are denied care again, they will rely on their faith and care for her themselves. Back to you, Brendan.